Hi everyone, Jim Bostock here again from the Bostock Institute, changing your beliefs around pain. We had Michelle come in this morning and about five and a half weeks ago, during the, the Christmas period, she had a nasty cough. She got that stupid virus, you know, that we all hated in summer especially. And she got the cough and she was coughing her lungs out. And she felt in a sharp pain right under the rib cage, just under the bra line, shooting through to just under the nipple region here. She also had pain at the back around the same area as well and it was shooting through and oh my goodness, she couldn't cough very well, she couldn't breathe very well, she couldn't lie on that side, lie on her back, she was struggling. Now the thing is, it's been five weeks and she's still having the same pain and it's actually worse, she says. She got an x-ray done and there's no fracture. And if there is a fracture, normally it exists around the neck of the uh, the rib, we call, and it sort of sits through there. And unfortunately, can't do anything about that. That'll just heal in six, to, six weeks time, usually. Um, but she didn't have a fracture, but what is her pain? Her practitioners and, 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 and GPs and so on, we all, and we all say the same thing. We say it's the rib. You have a rib issue. Your rib may have been subluxed. Your ribs may be stuck. It's, your facet joints may be jammed. You've got a rib fracture, yada, yada, yada. Could be a rib thing. And it's correct. It is, it is a rib thing. It's the nerve that causes the pain. It's the nerve trunk of the dorsal rami nerves that come out of the spinal cord in this region. This dorsal rami nerve trunk, trunk sorry, that comes around and actually just travels with the rib coming around the front. That's why the pain travels through you. Like, you know, it travels, comes through you. So it is a nerve issue. But with, with Michelle, I mean, the pain wasn't going away. Normally it would heal, right? So why is it hanging around? Well, to be honest with you, the, the predominantly when I treat this one, it's actually a nerve lock pain. Now, we've talked about nerve lock before on a previous video. What it essentially is an active trigger point, but I'm calling them nerve lock. Now, that's when the nervous system controlling the muscles that controls your ribs, so it's the muscles that help the ribs, are reflexively locked down, and that can stay there for life because it's your brain's way of protecting you from further harm. It senses the problem, and it's locked down. So it's called a nerve lock, and it exists quite commonly right near where the facet joints or the joints where the rib joins onto the spinal um, uh, bones here is this joint here. It locks down around that joint to stop moving the rib. That's why we all think it's a rib problem, but it's actually the nerve that's locked down around this area causing the pain as well as the rib issue in the that we are all seeing. So this, and it exists along this channel here. So there's this muscle that slides close to this region called the multifidus muscle. They're the deepest ones. And there's also ones lying on top of that called the spinalis muscles and also the longismus muscles, these two rows. And commonly they exist, these nerve lock or what I, or what, I use the word nerve lock points, they exist along there. And you have to unlock those nerve and muscles so the rib can move again. So when we unlocked Michelle's today, wow, she's oh my goodness, the pain's already gone, the breathing's coming back. It's amazing, but it's just because the muscles were protecting her and that's the pain. So what I recommend normally for patients with this one after they've got it unlocked is to stretch out your lat muscles, your latissimus muscles, and, and roll this part of your spine on those foam rollers, you know, using thoracic extension. You've seen them on previous, previous videos that I've done. And also the wall stretch, the lat stretch on the wall to stretch this guy out or hang off your, some chin up bars with your feet on the floor and just let it gently hang. But the key is breathing, breathing into this part of your back. Let the ribs expand in this part when you're actually doing the stretch or rolling your upper spine. The foam roller or on the lats, breathing nice and deeply into here. The best place really is actually doing a, the hang off the wall stretch in the hot shower so that the hot water and the steam is nice as well and the muscles are warming up with the water. So. I recommend doing that about three to four times a day when you have this pain, when you're recovering from it, once that nerve lock is unlocked and gotten rid of. If it's still there, unfortunately, you're going to just hit a, a brick wall every time. So you have to get that unlocked first. I hope this information helps. It is a nerve issue that sits in this region here, but it's the muscles that are causing the ribs to lock up or sublux or whatever word we like to use. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Until the next time, thank you for watching.